Please upgrade to Chrome. Well, that's easy. And now it's Chrome. So today we've had one of our first substantial snowfalls of the year, so I thought what better day to truly put that endless summer mantra the Beach Boys were embracing in the mid-70s to the test. Today we have the unusual follow-up to Spirit of America, entitled American Summer, a record club exclusive for 1975. Released in the winter, on both part of the Capitol Record Club and the RCA Record Club. So the Beach Boys were no strangers to mail-in uh, albums, promotional stuff. Of course, with record clubs, you could get albums at free or low prices if you signed up for this club and bought certain things at retail price. I'm not here to tell you the history of record clubs, and frankly, I don't really know that much about them. There's not a lot of information about this circulating around. But the Beach Boys loved mail-order stuff. Here's an ad from the 60s. For the Teen Set program, you got a magazine and promotional items if you signed up with Capital. You can clearly see the Beach Boys and the Beatles on the top tier there. Beach Boys had their own mail-away fan club. Steve Lewis of the Beach Boys Basement has a great video where he talks about one of the entry blanks that you could send away to join and things like that and what kind of stuff you got. Really, really interesting stuff. So, seeing a mail-away promotional club exclusive LP not really out of the Beach Boys wheelhouse. And with their popularity at a massive height in the mid-70s, it makes perfect sense. So, Spirit of America is what we talked about last time. The double record set with the gatefold and all of the pseudo-American characters. I actually didn't point out one of my favorite things. Uncle Sam there, his eyes are two different colors, so it looks like he has an eye infection. But, uh, you know, that was a big hit. Went gold, made the top ten. Not as big as Endless Summer, but certainly big enough to show that people were still really, really into the Beach Boys. So this promotional, or not promotional, but Mail Away LP came out. Let me read you the track list here. Still two records. Side one, Dance, 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 Breakaway, Long Tall Texan, The Little Girl I Once Knew, and Do You Want to Dance? Side 2, Spirit of America, Pom Pom Playgirl, Summer Means New Love, 409, and We'll Run Away. Side 3, Do You Remember, This Car of Mine, Please Let Me Wonder, And Your Dream Comes True, and Shut Down, Part 2. And finally on side 4, Barbara Ann, Keep an Eye on Summer, She Knows Me Too Well, Cherry Cherry Coop, and When I Grow Up to Be a Man. So you might notice that a lot of the songs are quite similar to Spirit of America, using the same songs, in some cases even in the same order. Spirit of America is longer, with 23 songs. American Summer only has 20. There are 11 songs that are shared between the two. On American Summer, Dance, 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 Breakaway, The Little Girl I Once Knew, Spirit of America, Do You Remember, This Car of Mine, Please Let Me Wonder, Barbara Ann and When I Grew Up to Be a Man are all in basically the same place. It's not a perfect one for one because this album is shorter, but they're in about the same position as they are on Spirit of America, which shows me all they did was start with Spirit of America and kind of switch a few things out. They didn't really start from the ground up. Indeed, the first two opening tracks, Dance, 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 and Breakaway, exactly the same. And then there are two, 409 and Do You Want to Dance, that are moved. Do You Want to Dance, instead of being the penultimate track and the last studio song on the album, is moved to the closing of side one, which is okay. It still kind of does that bracketing thing with Dance, 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 just not as well. I'm not a big fan of When I Grew Up to Be a Man as a Closer, but I guess it kind of works because the song is about age progression and moving on, so, nah, you know, I'd let it go. I'm okay with that. So you have a few, quite a few things that aren't on, well, I should say quite a few, it's less than half, that aren't on uh, Spirit of America. Notably, two instrumentals, Summer Means New Love and Shut Down Part 2. Instrumentals generally don't appear on Beach Boys hits packages. They never really had a hit instrumental. Some, like Pet Sounds, are popular. Summer Means New Love from 1965 was the B-side to the uh, fairly successful Caroline No single. So I kind of get that. Shutdown Part 2 was a filler track from the album, Shutdown Volume 2. 
never really caught on, but it is a pretty fast-paced instrumental, and it does have a callback intro to the original song, Shutdown, which was on Endless Summer. So, eh, you know, I'd let that go. We have And Your Dream Comes True, beautiful a cappella song. It's not used as the closer, which is odd, because that's a very good song for an album closer. It's just kind of stuck in there in the middle. Pom Pom Playgirl, which has kind of come back in the style. It was on the 60th anniversary set. Keep an eye on Summer, big fan favorite. She Knows Me Too Well. We talked more about this song in Best Volume 3, uh, that the episode that had Best Volume 3 in it. Um, bubbled Under the Hot 100, never really caught on. It's a very dour song about relationship abuse, so I can kind of see why. Uh, it's an odd, maybe an odd choice here, because it's a very nice sounding song, but not something that would be a big fan favorite right away. Long Tall Texan makes an appearance for the only live track on the album. It was also the live track featured in episode 2 of this series, Best of the Beach Boys Volume 2. Uh, again, it's just kind of randomly stuffed in here. Spirit of America saved the live track for the end. This, this album did not. Long Tall Texan, though, associated with their live act. It's out of place, but not terrible. Will Run Away, one of the most underrated songs from the All Summer Long album. Uh, kind of a precursor to Wouldn't It Be Nice and like Pet Sounds era songs about being too young to be in love and so on. Beautiful song, so glad it's here. And Cherry Cherry Coop, we got kind of a different car song, not one we see too often. So I've been showing you the cassette tape box, I'll show you the inside. This made it to 8-track and cassette, which is more than we can say for some of those earlier hits packages, like 1970s Good Vibrations. So people were buying this, or ordering this, or qualifying for this. However it worked, here's my old cassette tape with the sticker labels. So it definitely caught on. The album itself, though I should say the record album itself, leave that out for now actually, is kind of weird because it has two records, but it's not a gatefold. They literally shoved two LPs into here and it is such a tight squeeze. So I took one of them out now because there's probably a good 25 minutes of content on this channel of me fumbling with taking records out or putting records back in the sleeves. One and two are on one record. And then three and four on the other. Capital Orange Labels. Very, very similar to Spirit of America. I will say I do like the cover art. I don't like that it's not a gatefold, because again, that's a pretty narrow fissure. But I do like this kind of minimalist artwork. You know, I know a lot of people are nostalgic for the psychedelic Americana of Spirit of America's cover, but, eh, you know, I like this too. Minimalist, but it does its job. It's summery and it's American. What more could you want? It keeps the Spirit of America song, and like the original, just kind of randomly shoves it in somewhere, so I don't know what the deal with that is. It's a very interesting kind of curio. Frankly, I could have cut this episode out and skipped over this one. It probably wouldn't have mattered, but I wanted to show it off just because it's so strange. In the last video, I asked you, do you buy name brand or off-brand? And I asked that because this is very much the off-brand version of Spirit of America. It's almost the same thing but not quite. But if you were part of that record club, maybe this would have been a very enticing offer. Like Spirit of America, it's a supplement. If you're already a fan, you want to start digging deeper, it's a great place to start. But it really wouldn't entice new collectors or new fans so much. You'd have to kind of get more familiarity with the group first, I think, in order for it to work. It also does kind of have a cash grab vibe as well as a sampler vibe with, you know, hey, Beach Boys fans, they'll shell out more money for this, because it's new and slightly different. I don't know. But in the end, it's a kind of a fun, interesting little piece of Beach Boys history, and I had a lot of fun listening to it and talking about it, and I hope that you maybe learned something today, or you have fond memories of this album as well. We're not done with 1975 yet. We'll see that uh, another piece of 1975 with what the Beach Boys were actually thinking in the next episode. Of course, the next two weeks we'll take to talk about Sail on Sailor, the upcoming box set. I do hope to see you back for those. I have a lot to say about it, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your opinions, too. So in the meantime, it may be getting cold, winter may be coming, but who said we couldn't throw on some Beach Boys tunes and have summer all year long? Until next time, my friends, 
Have a safe and happy week, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.